Hey, how's it going, guys? In this tutorial, I'll be covering how to use Python to create a command line tool using ArcPass module. Before I diving into the tutorial, this tutorial is intended for anyone who wants to get started with creating a command line tool using Python. And as I mentioned before, I'll be using the ArcPass module, which is the recommended command line parsing module in the standard Python library to create the command line tool. So to start, I'm going to give you an example on what can we do with a command line tool. All right, so here I create a command line tool to uh, add a password to my PDF file. Now let me open this uh, test.pdf file. And it's going to open this uh, Gmail keyboard shortcut cheat sheet. And when I open the PDF file, it's not going to ask me for a password. So here, uh, let me close this. So let me open my uh, command line console. And I spent maybe about 10 minutes to create this uh, encryption command line tool. And in my console, if I run the encrypt PDF, and this program takes two arguments, the file name and the password. And for the password, let's do ABC123 and enter. Once the file is encrypted, it's going to print this message, a uh, file followed by the file name followed by the encrypted message. Now, this time if I go back and open the PDF file, it's going to prompt me to enter the password. And I'm going to type ABC123 to unlock the file. And this is one of the examples on what we can do with the command line tool. Now, let me create a blank Python script. And I'll name the script hello.py. All right, so in my script, I'm going to start by importing the arc parse module. And I'll start with face some example, which does almost nothing. From the arc parse module, I want to create an argument parser object. And I'm going to insert the class name, argument parser. And I want to provide my users with uh, some description regarding this program. So inside the argument parser uh, class, I'm going to insert the description to the uh, description parameter. And for the description, I'm going to say that print hello. And I'll name the output as parser. Next, I'm going to type parser.parse arcs and insert method. Now let me explain what these two lines do. The argument parser object basically contains the metadata and other information related to your program. And the parse args method will read the data from the parser object. Now let me save the script and let me launch my uh, console window. All right, so if I run the hello.py program, Oh, and this should be description. And it's not going to do anything because at this point, we are basically creating the shell. But if I type pi, hello.py, followed by dash h, and it's going to print the uh, help message related to this program. And here I can see that I have an optional argument, which is called help. And at this point, you have created your first command line tool. But the tool is not useful if you cannot uh, simply do any operation or to perform any task. I'm going to move the uh, parse argument to the bottom. And similar to Python functions, we can specify the parameters using the add argument method. So from the parse object, I'm going to add the add argument method. And this is basically your parameter. Inside the add argument method, let's want to name my parameter name as f name stands for first name. I want to specify the data type. Next, I want to provide a help text to give user additional information regarding to this argument. And for the help text, I'm going to say enter your first name.
Here I want to name the parse arcs, uh, output as arcs. It stands for arguments. I want to read the uh, value from this argument. I'll type arcs that followed by the uh, parameter name, which is going to be f name. Now going back to the console. I'm going to type pyhello.py, followed by my first name, j, and enter. And it's going to print my name, j. And to make the program a little bit more useful, I'm going to insert hello, followed by a variable placeholder. Then I want to insert my uh, first name. Now if I run the program again, and this time it's going to say hello, j. Now I want to add another argument except that I want to make this argument optional. So from add argument to add an optional argument, we need to uh, name the parameter followed by a hyphen or two hyphens. So this is basically your short name. And let's say I want to uh, print my first name or last name. And last name is optional. So for the short name, we're going to use ln. And it will be one dash. And for the long name, it's going to be last name. And I can specify the data type and the help text. Enter your last name. And to modify the print statement, I'm going to insert another variable placeholder. This is going to be the last name. And notice that here I'm referencing the long name to retrieve the value. Now, if I run the program, we just my first name. Oh, and I forgot the, the comma. It's going to print hello j followed by the num value. And it's not the behavior I want. Now, going back to the script, I want to uh, create two variables first. I want to create my first name variable from the args object. I want to reference the first name argument. And for the last name, I'm going to insert the arcs object dot last name. And I'll insert a one line if statement to check if the last name value is none. I'm going to say that if arcs dot last name is none, then I want to uh, return as an empty string. Otherwise, I want to uh, return the last name. And save. Now this time if I run the program with my first name. Oh, and this should be Oh, this should be F name, not first name. And I forgot to replace the uh, variables. Now, if I go back to my console and run the program with just my first name, it will simply print hello J. Now, if I print hello J followed by my last name, Jen, now I'm getting the unrecognized argument here. And the reason is because the last name argument is optional, so we need to insert the uh, argument name. So we can insert ln to specify that we want to provide value to the last name argument. Now enter. Now it's going to print my full name. And we can also specify the uh, parameter name using the long name by inserting two dashes followed by the argument name. And finally, I'm going to convert uh, this command line tool into an executable program. And to do that, we need to use a package called PyInstaller. All right, so here let me open my window terminal. And let me activate my environment first. And to install the PyInstaller, we'll use the command pip install PyInstaller. And once you install the PyInstaller package, we can package this hello program into a .exe file. And the command is very easy. We'll type PyInstaller, followed by a dash, uppercase F. F means that I want to convert this program into a one single file, followed by the script name, hello.py. And enter. And it looks like the build is finished. 
and it's going to create two folders. The build folder contains the uh, working files that relate to this program. And the other folder, which is the distribution folder, which contains the actual program. And here's the hello.exe file. All right, so here let me open my window terminal that link to uh, this directory. Now I want to use this hello.exp file. Now if I want to run this program, I can simply type the program name hello and followed by my first name, J, then last name, and enter. And it's going to print hello J Gen. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, send you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.